I made a secret YouTube channel to prove it's not luck. While I drink, I've heard a lot about this video and I got recommended recently. So let's see how. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a how to be successful at YouTube. Did I? Well, I mean, it should be anything, you know. Let's get into it. Is success on YouTube mostly luck, or is it mostly skill? People always ask me, Ludwig, if you had to start your channel over, what would you do? I think they're mostly asking so they can just do that and hopefully get successful. But I was kind of wondering, what would I do? How would I get successful if I couldn't use my face, my voice, or any of my current following? Would I stick with 10 viewers? Would I get to 100? Would I get thousands of views? I don't know. So I've made a brand new channel. And today I'm going to find out if YouTube is mostly based on luck or mostly based on skill. I even called up hmm. a good friend of mine so to see what his thoughts on this theory was. And I think he knows like a thing or two about YouTube. Like he's he's on his way to success there. Hey Siri, call Jimmy Beast. Yeah, of course. Yo, Jimmy. What up, dog? I have a it's question the for you. Hey, man. Man. Uh, I'm trying to do Safe. a YouTube video. And then the premise of the YouTube video is starting a brand new channel from scratch and trying to see if I can get views without my current name or branding at all. Okay. And I was... <clears throat> Wondering how much of YouTube you think is luck versus skill. Um, it's ninety nine percent skill. You, you, if you knew what you were doing, you could do that one hundred percent. All right. So if Mr. Beast thinks it's ninety nine percent skill and not that luck based, then I should be able to get some amount of success. So I'm gonna set a challenge. I'm gonna give myself twenty four hours to get at least one thousand views. It's not hundreds of thousands. And it's not views. Millions, but I'm no. limited in what. I mean that. If you are allowed to do any video, like, at all, then yeah, you could probably just make a short about KSI, or with, like, KS from a sideman video, you get 1,000 videos. Assets I can use, I can't use, like, so use my own voice, but I still think I can get 1,000 views in less than a day. Stuff. And you know what, if I don't, I'll delete my main channel. That's how confident I am. So here's what I did. I wrote out a script of a video that I thought would be pretty good. It's kind of like a video essay, but it's on Twitch streamers, specifically my good friend Mizkif. And then I hired someone on Fiverr to read out the exact script. All right, here's the script I wrote out. It's called How a Door Made This Man One Million Dollars. And then I recorded myself. The pandemic will be remembered as a time of economic despair, mental isolation, and further polarization of the political parties in America. Why do I sound like a journalist? I sound like a news anchor. But I don't want to have myself read it because people know what my voice sounds like. So that's not really going to fly. So instead, what I did is I hired someone on Fiverr. In total, this cost me $131. The reason for that was mostly because I needed the rights to use it in my own YouTube video for commercial reasons, oh. which is super fair and a really good thing that the Fiverr artists put in. So, you know, I have no problem with that at all. But it should be free for you guys at home. And then I hired an editor and this also is not something you have to do at home. You could just, you know, get editing tools. Some costs yeah. money, but even those ones you could get if you know exactly where to get it. And then edit yeah. yourself. I didn't do this because, you know, I'm still, I'm doing this on the side. It's like a yeah. fun little project. This but video here's what the have final a, video looks like. The largest streaming it's platform. Three editing software for him the the big site. The brain more than one. Be probably below this. That's how you know that I have a The pandemic created. Looks pretty good. I'm really happy with how the video turned out. And now here's my plan. So I've made this video. It's like a three minute, 45 second video essay on specifically Mizkif. And the reason I did it on Mizkif is one, because I think I have a decent amount of knowledge on this. So I'm speaking as an authority writing, but also I know one thing about streamers and it's the same thing that got me to sell merch by using TTS before. They have huge inflated egos. So mm. if I have this video uploaded and somehow get Mizkip to click on the video, he'll probably watch it. So that's yeah, my plan that's... right now. And if I can get Mizkip to watch this on stream in front of about 45,000 mm. people, well, I think that's a win. But also, a lot of them will click on it. And I think there's a chance that this video might get a decent amount of views. So let's create the channel. What do I want to call it? What's like something that would be Twitch friendly that other... Because I want people who are on Twitch to come over, but not too on the nose like history of Twitch. 
Who's the one that goes why 50% of people live south of this line, Canada? What is oh, that? Oh, yeah, be like real that. life lore. Yeah. What if I just call it online? Hey, lore? What's I kind of like online lore. So let's let's get a profile a picture for guess, online yeah. lore. Loading screen game. Like if it's called online lore and then it's a loading screen, that's kind of a good idea. I kind of like this, but just the center of it. All right, let's make that the logo. So we'll do this one, but then we'll make it small enough. Yeah. Nice. That looks amazing. I also need a banner image. That's like a really cute banner. So let's <laughs> just make that the banner. All right, let's publish. So here's what the channel looks like now. Online lore. Yeah. It has this little logo. It has the logo thing. I really like how it's looking branding wise, but now we need to upload our video. So let me get that pulled up. One quick key, by the way, if you guys are ever uploading videos, they'll use whatever you, the video's file name is for the algorithm in some ways. So basically like it's a keyword finder for the search engine. If you have some of the keywords inside of the file name as you're uploading it, I believe that YouTube will use that information. All right, let's upload what? Mizkif Twitch Streamer. And the actual title for this is yeah. I think I had one. How I literally had all my videos that uploaded as final video. Cause like I have to edit it a bunch of times. The sound to compress it and to this covering thing for the intro and outro and other sound related bits. So that I've pretty much shot myself with a bit of a lot of it. Oh a door and... made this streamer one million dollars so now the only thing i have to worry about is the title and the a i think the title how the door off. made this streamer one million dollars is pretty catchy it doesn't need to have mizkiff's name in it because a streamer it touches more people like even though mizkiff's a, a big streamer most people who know about streaming don't know who mizkiff is even with how big yeah. he is and if you do know who mizkiff is you'll see him in the thumbnail so you'll click it anyway i hope you yeah. enjoyed watching if you liked the video it mean the world if you subscribe or shared it with a friend i have an idea i'm gonna pretty much copy everything from whatever this is like obviously you know title and stuff but all right let's just do that keep it simple maybe i'll make a video good. that's all good we'll start remaking private, and then we'll hit save rates. So now what we need to do is we need to no. make a thumbnail. The channel so I that want a picture of Mizkif, but with the door in focus. It's not Mizkif luck. door. Also, wait, you know what I could use is his YouTube channel has the intro that he uses every time. Hey. Ooh, I like this one a lot, actually. Okay, here's a quick tip for you as well. You can get an extension that helps you screenshot YouTube. You get the extension, and you hit the screenshot button, and then we'll just save that I mean, as that Mizkif room. You can as and that's not organized. Uh, you that's just do that with that snippet and, and then we'll, that they'll play Very cool. I like this image a lot, though. Okay, so let's. I need the full door in it because the door is key. All right, that's yeah. that's really good. And then now let's highlighted. get the actual door isolated. Now we have just the door. We can add a drop shadow. Yeah, yeah. I think it looks a lot better. Of uh, maybe we just cut out the bottom of the couch. And now the door is completely center of the thumbnail. I kind of like that. That seems pretty good. The door seems kind of narrow, though, right? Is it crazy to just literally widen it artificially? And then let's get a picture of Ms. Kiff. And now the best way yeah, to get a thumbnail picture of someone is to just go to their YouTube. These creators literally upload HD pictures of themselves constantly. Yeah. And you can just take them. Now, not with pink eye. That's a little absurd. That's finished. This one's pretty fine. All right. And then you just hey, go. Quit staring at my boxes. Only 50% of you guys hey. subscribe to the channel. Okay. You go thumbnail oh, downloader. Man. Sorry for staring at your boxes, Mizzy. And then we can just oh, yoink that's that. Good idea. Put it I keep here. confusing. I'm no means an expert, so there are probably quicker ways to do everything I'm doing. And I mean, that's it's just it's quite what I'm comfortable with. Doing, and I can do it at a decent pace. That. So, for example, Maybe right now I need to isolate the bottom, just right. his head. There's like eight different ways to do this. I'm pretty happy with the way that I do this. It leaves with pretty I mean, I have lines. A like the content aware in, one has kind of messy lines, which I don't like. And it also works pretty fast. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks pretty good. I think the door doesn't stand out enough, though. The door's just a bit small, I think. Okay, maybe I get rid of the stroke, but I have an arrow. For some reason, the arrow makes it just more visible. 
And I don't like the red stroke around the door. I'm gonna go with the arrow. And then let's arrow. cap off the thumbnail. Let's yeah, title I mean, it. Yeah. Miz we've had this is supposed to be a final classic YouTuber. YouTube rule. Then, yeah, the Always title it final. Friend. And then let's go to the channel. Here. Yeah. And then let's go to the oh, channel. I mean, here's the video. Let's change the thumbnail. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I kind of, I think this is really catchy. I, I like it a lot. I'm just gonna publish it now. Again, this channel oh, has no literally uh, zero viewers, zero subscribers. How a streamer made this streamer one million dollars. So I think uh, zero viewers, zero subscribers. How a door made this streamer one million dollars. So I think the first thing to do is go to Mizkiff's Reddit. Again, the goal is to hit about a thousand views, and I think Mizkiff watching this video is a good start. Oh, Megalol. Mizzy carried by a door. That's like a good <laughs> clickbait title. Let's just post it. See how that does. The other option is to make I have tried to post YouTube videos on Reddit. It, unless it's actively very good, it won't get more than five. Um, at least on like KSI's Reddit, I think it is. And few times. Back when it was on a, Twitch. Quite and then a few years ago, actually. I think anyone can post links if you're a sub. I'll just do that, and then a viewers will click on it. They'll like the video, and then hopefully they'll send them the video. So let's maybe make a new account. Turbo <laughs> World News. All right, I think my game plan is I'm going to shower. I'm going to come back, and then hopefully they're done with this. And then hopefully by then, I can link the video, and they can watch it. So that's my current game plan. He's got no content now. I'm, grip I'm gripping the dono. He's watching uh, Emiru and Code Miko. Yeah. All right, I'm gripping it. Oh, I hope this works. Otherwise, it's such a waste of 50 bucks. Okay. Wait, it's got 50 bucks. Nice. I Someone it. called you the biggest streamer in the world? Easy bait. How a door made the streamer a million dollars. Okay, he's hooked. He's hooked. He's hooked! Oh! Yes! Is this going to stroke my ego? 22 yes! views and he's watching it. Oh, Let's this go! Is... Let's go! How do you get, have this many followers and you watch a 22 video? Yes, one stream. The largest streaming platform, Twitch, has over doubled their monthly chat. viewers, according to Twitch tracking. Yeah, and people say Twitch is dying and everyone's going to YouTube mm. and blah, 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 and this, this, and that. And then when we double our viewership in one year, eat my ass, chat. But there is a great mystery on what it takes to be one of the biggest streamers in the world. Some rise to the top with their world-class gaming skills. Others have developed well-thought-out, unique content that rivals cable television. And then there's Miskiff. Hi! <laughs> He isn't particularly good at games. <laughs> and sometimes all he does is watch other people's content on his stream. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God, there's so many reaction times. I just, I need to move my... Wait. I'm now right next to my bloody self from Berlin. <laughs> he is a top 50 streamer in the world, easily making over $1 million every year. The reason? The door standing right behind him. <laughs> it shouldn't come as a surprise that cable television is Ooh, on a its hook, way out. A hook. Since 2015, 20% of Americans have dropped the service, according to a survey by the Pew Research Center. But that doesn't remove mm. the influence of cable television shows. Look no further than streamers emulating or straight ripping off popular game shows mm -hmm. for a younger Twitch audience. But Miskiff has taken something from sitcoms that make shows like Seinfeld, Friends, and Happy Days American staples. What does? The sitcom entrance. When fan favorite characters walk through one of these three doors, American audiences would go wild. <laughs> if you replace the studio audience with a Twitch chat, Miskiff is doing the same thing. Dude, we need a fucking clap track or whatever. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Miskiff has an open door policy, meaning anyone who not this is money. his house, but walk right into his Oh yeah, this is definitely getting more than the best than you. frame the Miskiff. This has led to new and familiar faces walking through that door with chat able to immediately react to who showed up. Oh, I thought that was Cottery's fans. Collaboration is a state of growth for any YouTuber or streamer, but the mystery of who will show up while Miskiff is live is what keeps the viewers excited. Bro, imagine Train just walked through my fucking door. I would be a dream. <laughs> That'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> ...about the concept. And although a lot of credit is deserved for the 36 by 8... Oh, please, Miskiff is also ready to deal with whoever walks through that door. 
He takes an inherent risk not being able to control who shows up, and even the most disgraced streamers have walked through that door. Even the most disgraced streamers were to come back. Miskiff is one of the fastest <laughs> growing streamers on the platform and has catapulted himself from Ice Poseidon's cameraman to one of the biggest creators in the world. To a door. All right, here's how I get views now. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe so I know to keep making. You don't even. You don't even have other videos, dude. You gave me fifty bucks. You know what you're doing. Look, I'll post it once. Woo! I'm a cheap Woo! God, Let's bad. go. That. Yeah, that was big. And then oh, all getting blown up. Door made you, door made you. For one reason. Yeah, this is definitely no thing. That's everything oh, I wanted. All right, now the question is: Will people on chat yeah. click on it? Oh, already thirty. Holy shit! No, look at the likes. Oh, two hundred twenty-five likes. The, the goal was a thousand views. We're already at two sixty. I'm curious now if people click on it, the positive reception, if I get good watch through. Oh, look at this. I mean, it's a full video. It should have good Holy ones. shit. This is insane. Wait. That's crazy. Yeah, everyone was so nice. I know. Because it was just good content. Which is one of the key takeaways. It was actually good content. Yeah. And it was three minutes and 48 seconds. If this was like a 15-minute video, Ms. Kip would have clicked out probably four minutes in. He would have stopped farming jokes. Been like, I'm tired of this. Yeah. And then he would have moved on. So, uh, luckily, it kept it short. Kept it sweet. I'm curious how this will do in a week. Look at this. this is gonna hit a thousand almost within the first. I reckon minutes. it gets It's been about four 5, days since I uploaded this video. I spent about six hundred dollars right, to make it with the editor, Demo, the voiceover 20. guy, and then the marketing efforts. Because and here's how it's doing. Actually, like, Currently, the video is sitting at about eleven thousand views. Uh, the channel is at about one thousand subscribers, and you can hmm. check right now. This isn't all views from like direct clicking. You know, those are the views that I quote unquote paid for right that's the views that i got ms kip to click One it and then everyone from ms kip's chat went to watch it but the key then, to like, all youtube success is views under this category that means yeah, algorithm gross. views and 30 percent of all the views in this video are from the algorithm 3.5 thousand mm. which is huge that's a big number and this yeah. although it doesn't look that good 43 percent viewer retention it's not that bad if the line is flat, that means people who figured out what this video is about and, you know, the people who didn't click out immediately liked the video. They sat almost all the way through it. Yeah. Obviously, there's a huge drop off because a lot of these people watched it with Ms. Kiff and then immediately left or the pandemic whatever it was. Is it? Jesus Christ, man. Come on, you're British. I get it. But let me do my thing. <laughs> really good stats all around. I'm really happy with it. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. after this video goes out, I'm sure it'll blow up a lot more. I think this video will end up with 100k views. So... It kind of got a little out of hand, but I really believe in this video. I really believe in the process that made this video, mm -hmm. and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's not millions. It's not enough to go full time, but it's a start, and it's yeah. better than 95% of YouTube videos uploaded. And all it came down to was good content, yeah, yeah. good thumbnailing, good titling, and also, admittedly, a smart way to get it in front of people who are interested in this type of content. This could feasibly be done by anyone with just $50. I mean, maybe less if you go for a little smaller streamer who pays attention to his donations a little more. Listen, come on. I hope this was cool, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you guys did, please make sure yeah. to subscribe to this Question channel. Maybe I'll continue uploading on the online lore channel, so go check that one out as well. And Let's thanks see. for watching. See you later. Goodbye. Let's check it out, I think. Let's check out that. Oh, it got under. The pandemic will be remembered as a time of economic despair, mental isolation, and further polarization of political parties in America. It has a hundred k, like and one point three million, and it's unlisted as well. This could be fake. What did what did they change it to? Third and Trent's musical and forensic film for six. Hmm. What? Are they, are they liberated to whatever the hell they want? Okay.
pieces. What? Let's go to the about. What? Are they just making non copyright music now? I mean, the banner is still the same. Ah, here. Anyway, pretty good video. I understand why everyone liked it and why it would gain that much notoriety. Maybe I'll incorporate stuff into my own videos from it.